Hi everyone, welcome to practice problem inventory 06. This one is going to be about determining inventory balances. Here I give you a multiple choice, five options. Which of the following should be included in Flyer Corps ending inventory balance? So take a moment, read through your options, see if you can pick which of these should be included in Flyer Corps ending inventory balance. And when you're ready, come back and I'll walk you through the solution. All right, welcome back. So which of the following should be included? Let's check A. Goods Flyer Corps is holding on consignment for another company at year end. So the goods are physically in Flyer Corps' possession. However, because they are holding on consignment, what that means is the other company actually owns the goods. Flyer Corps is providing a service by holding on to them. Therefore, these should not be included in Flyer Corps' inventory they legally belong to the other company. They'll be in the other company's inventory. All right, B. Goods Flyer Corps purchased FOB destination from a supplier that arrived at Flyer Corps' receiving dock on the last day of the period. So there's a lot of pieces here. The first being we are purchasing the goods, so they are coming to us, which means we are the destination. They were shipped FOB destination, which means we don't take legal ownership of them until they get here. They arrived at our receiving dock, so they've hit destination. That means ownership has changed hands on the last day of the period. So that is within the current period. Therefore, this should be included in our, in our inventory. We fulfilled the terms of the contract. They've arrived at the destination. We now own them. All right, next up. Goods Flyer Corps purchased FOB destination from a supplier that are still in transit. So whenever you see in transit, that means it's still on the plane, train, truck, whatever's carrying it. Again, we're buying. So the goods are coming to us, which means we are the destination. It says that they were shipped FOB destination. So legal ownership isn't going to change hands until they get to us. But they're not here yet. They're still on the truck. Those don't belong to us yet. We would not include them in our inventory. All right, how about D? Supplies Flyer Corps keeps in its warehouse for day-to-day -day use. Now, this was a trick question because you see that word supplies? Supplies are not inventory. Supplies are something you use to conduct your business. Inventory is the product you sell. Therefore, this should not be part of your ending inventory. Last up. Goods Flyer Corps shipped, so now we're the shipper, FOB shipping point to a customer that are still in transit. So again, on the truck, plane, train, wherever it's being carried by, we are the shipper in this case, and the terms say once it ships, ownership changes hands. And the fact that it's in the train or in the truck or in the boat, that's telling us it shipped. It hasn't arrived at the destination, but that's irrelevant. We shipped it. FOB shipping point says legal title changed hands. That no longer belongs to us. We would not include that in our inventory either. So of all of these, only B would be included in Flyer Corps ending inventory balance. All right, that's it for determining inventory balances. Hope you found this helpful. Hope you join me for another video.